Welcome back to the continuing social distancing episode of American Medicine Today. I'm alongside Ethan Euchre and Jeff Wagstaff. Now the Boy Scouts have always championed the motto, be prepared. But what does that mean in today's constantly changing world of anxiety, political unrest, and natural disasters? Well, joining us to discuss is Judith Matloff, seasoned war correspondent, veteran safety consultant, and author of How to Drag a Body and other safety tips you hope to never need. Thank you for joining us, Judith. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, Judith, when I came across this book, I thought, Title alone, we have to get her on the show. Plus, I'm a bit of a survival buff myself. Uh, I could probably spend the whole hour talking to you, but uh, do you have any tips for people like everyone listening and watching right now uh, to help us survive what's going on in the world today, all levels of craziness? Yeah, it is pretty crazy, isn't it? And I live in New York. You know, the theme of the book, and I really hope it becomes the theme of people's lives, is if you can contemplate what the dangers are that you might be facing in your life, and then prepare for it. When the adversity strikes, you're actually going to feel more in control. So let's say you live in an area which is prone to hurricanes. You know, we're going through a pandemic nationwide. Think about how you would prepare for hurricane season, which will come probably in a couple months. What do you need to do now so that if a hurricane category five storm hits, you will be able to evacuate safely, you will be able to ride it out safely. So that's just one example of the type of thing that people can do now. Well, and Judith, we're, we, we're based down here in Florida, so that was going to be one of my questions. Not only are we in the midst of a pandemic uh, and all the other crap going on, but it is now officially hurricane season and will be till the end of November. So talk about piling on the, the, the bad luck and the things that we need to be prepared for. Um, what are your tips for those of us on the Gulf Coast here of how to prepare for a hurricane? I mean, most of us already kind of know, but what do you got for us? What's different this year is, of course, the pandemic. And the thing is, shelters that people might ordinarily go to due to social distancing may not be open this year. And also the other thing to keep in mind is that emergency responders are already pretty stretched because of the disease. So what I would suggest people do is find out now, if you need to evacuate, where would you go? Because it could be very, very different from previous years. And the other thing to keep in mind is that if you do have a go-to bag for when you do evacuate, what you need to have are supplies for COVID-19. So I would recommend having at least two weeks worth of masks, wipes, gloves, those sort of things, disinfectant. So that's how this year is different from other years. And, you know, for instance, in the past, stadiums or schools might be places where shelters would be set up. Well, that's going to be very, very different this year because people are going to have to keep a a bit of a distance. So again, I would do the research now, get the supplies now, because then you'll be far more relaxed. And the other thing which I want to stress is it's, of course, very, very scary to confront the idea that you might get infected with COVID-19. Obviously, that's very disturbing. But if the authorities say evacuate and go to a shelter, you have a better chance of being rescued and being taken care of if you are in one of those places than if you're stuck at home. There are going to be less staff available now to get you out if you shelter at home and they tell you to evacuate. Hopefully people don't start hoarding all the essentials like they did when COVID first happened because we will need supplies just for hurricane season, let alone COVID. I mean, there was a toilet paper shortage, all we these need different our toilet things paper. you have to that's, consider. That's, what, that's yes. what I was gonna say. Yeah. Keep your newspapers, keep your papers, I guess. I never really got the logic of the toilet paper because this is largely a respiratory disease. And I, as far as I know, I don't know how it is in Florida, but in other parts of the country, no stores ran out of toilet paper supplies. Oh, you were lucky. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. okay Everywhere. Maybe here in New York. Yeah. But mm-hmm. having said that, let's say they are going to run out. Um, if you, that's the other beauty of preparing ahead of time. If you do it in a leisurely fashion, i.e. you do it now, now is the time to get whatever 
supplies are necessary rather than waiting at the last minute when everybody's panicking. So again, that's the other beauty of preparation. Just to give you an example, my husband, who also was a foreign correspondent, and I and our teenage son were all out of New York City when the pandemic first struck New York. But the thing is, we just because of who we are, we always have emergency supplies in the house for about, let's say, a month's worth. So when we all finally got back to our home in New York City in mid-March, we already had in the house N95 masks and gloves and disinfectant mm-hmm. and a month's supply worth of food. So again, if you have your supplies ready at a time when other people aren't hoarding and panic buying, then you're not going to run into that problem of the stores being empty when you actually need them. I think this conversation may cause like IBS in people. I think that's why there was a run on toilet paper, nervous colons (laughs) and intestines. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Judith Matloff, seasoned war correspondent, veteran safety consultant, and author of How to Drag a Body and Other Safety Tips You Hope to Never Need. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks, Judith. Thank you. It was a pleasure and good luck. (laughs) Yes, take care. Stay safe. (laughs) Make sure you stay tuned. Coming up after the break, a story of recovery.